This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this little SUV. It is a 2004 Chevy Trailblazer. Has 106,820 miles. It's a 4.2 liter V6. It's an LT. Uh, it has leather. It's two wheel drive. Um, it was a Jim Click Ford Hyundai Trade. Uh, about a half mile away at the auto mall from where we're at right now. This car is a one owner, all right? Tucson vehicle. Bought at O'Reilly Chevrolet, serviced at O'Reilly Chevrolet, one owner. It had a bunch of Department of Defense stickers on the windshield uh, in front of the, the VIN sticker on the uh, dash. Uh, that's the uh, way to get in the uh, gates at D Davis Monthan Air Base here. So this belonged to a military guy. Always a good thing. They always take care of their stuff. Uh, it is a Tucson car. Rust is never an issue. Uh, and it was uh, serviced at O'Reilly Chevrolet. Uh, very nice. Anyway, this just caught my eye. I usually don't buy something that's this old on gas. But honestly, when I, when I, <laughs> I have that uh, instinct, car instinct, I'm like, I got to have that car. And so I do have that car. And it's great. Uh, the only thing we didn't do to it is the seats have a little bit of wear on the outside bolsters of the passenger seats. They could either be dyed or have a new insert put in them. I would do nothing because they're fine. <laughs> but uh, when I'm looking at that as the problem, Michelin's. So this person was putting Michelin's, probably 70, 80% tread on this vehicle. So they loved it too. Um, generally, when something like this is sold after owning it for so long, it's probably because he got transfers, you know, to another place in the world. Um, uh, it's unusual that a military person who's going on base is here for that long. Uh, maybe his wife stayed here the whole time and maybe he traveled all over the world. Who knows? But, um, yeah, this is, <laughs> this is quite a lot of vehicle, uh, in front of us here. This is, this is a really nice vehicle. I really like this car. It's just so obviously really well taken care of. Anyway, my brother will take uh, 60 to 60 or so HD uh, photos. You'll be able to go over the uh, photos in the uh, photo gallery if you'd like. Um, little compartment there. Got the pull cover here for the cargo area this thing is super clean got the little o'reilly chevrolet deal in the tow hitch it's just a really clean car this is a fantastic first car although it's too nice a car it won't be a nice car when you're done when your 16 year old's done with it but uh for a first car this would be a really good one for a kid really really good one um very outstanding. Let me see. I've got the keys and it's got remote. So you got the remote locked, unlocked, right? All right, let me get the AC going in here. It's freaking hot. It's almost October and it's hot. All right, so we have 106,828 miles are the miles on it right now. It just came back from detail. By the way, I'm looking through the video, the camera, and I see the squiggling. I think it's just the camera. Uh, my brother tells me there's something about the frame thing, but it's very solid. If there's anything in your in the video that looks, it's fine. It's very, very fine. Anyway, little bit of a tear here on this thing, and then I'll show you the other side over here. I would do nothing with that, all right? Let me uh, go into the hood real quick. It's just not worth it. I can send it to Poncho's upholstery here and do both seats for about 300 bucks and it's not worth it. It's not worth doing, it doesn't need to be done. Unless you want to have it done, at which time we'll add 300 bucks and we'll do it for you and get it done. But I think that's silly. See what I'm saying over here? Just kind of cracks in the, in the die itself on the seat. All right, let's see. Auto check, this is uh, vehicle history on the vehicle there's the van this is scanned in the online file so we'll see it one owner we gave it a 66 on a 33 to 52 range obviously ex excellent no brands no accidents nothing no accidents reported this is this is as good as a, 
auto check will get, especially on an 04. Born in Tucson, raised in Tucson. So auto check isn't as good as, uh, as Carfax. They're good at the accidents and stuff like that, uh, police stuff, but not on service. So it looks like, you know, who knows? I'm sure that they serviced it there over and over again based on the condition of this thing. But uh, they don't always get reported. Either the person who did the service has to report it, and then they get like $10 for reporting it from Carfax, or they don't. I doubt that O'Reilly Chevrolet needs the money. In fact, Buck O'Reilly, the owner of and the founder of O'Reilly Chevrolet on Broadway in Tucson here, um, lives right across the street from me. And uh, he doesn't need $10. And so he's probably told his guys to stop wasting time doing that. And so every now and then when they have nothing to do, they did for a little while there. Um, anyway, there's nothing going on there. God, this car is clean. Really clean. Um, let's see. Window. Window. So, oh, you have heated seats also. So you got the heated seat back only so you got the heated seat switches power seat that was a weird thing to ask for i think they actually had to ask for that and have this probably built for them because a heated seat in tucson mm, of course maybe who knows maybe he thought he was going to be moving the military thing you know so you've got uh ac fans back here you've got radio back here right let's see and up and that's nice and cold already perfect I wouldn't give this to a kid no more I'm more thinking about it this is just a nice nice car for driving to the mall and stuff instead of getting carjacked in your Mercedes <laughs> and drive this they might not carjack you and it's still a really nice car it also has side airbags which is kind of unusual also so you've got the uh, heated seats boom window 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 and you have mirror out in up and down other side out in up and down this car is cool. Huh. The seat forward, seat back, seat up, seat down, rear tilt forward and back. Everything works great. Have a tilt wheel here. And we have great AC in here. Man, this is outstanding AC. That is one thing that's required in Tucson, is some of that. All right, let's see, what else we got going on here? Uh, la, 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 la. We have lots of, uh, let's see, we have traction control off and on, so that's on. We have radio, steering controls, Change the station. This is in California. Camera at the touch of a button. Select your XM favorite channels. channels. All right. Tilt this wheel down here real quick. Let's see what we got here. We got uh, boom. Right. Then we have rear windshield wiper. Okay, let's see, we have all this stuff, trip stuff, that's from there. Let's see, oil life, 90%, range 124, blah, blah, blah. All right, let's see, what else? Apparently you can do, oh, you know what? This is probably just OnStar here. Uh, I'm not gonna hit that because I don't want to get the speech about buying it, but uh, that's what that is. Um, what else we got going on here? La la la, air conditioning, down and up, fan, temperature, 
passenger side, that's up, and that's down. Driver side, up and down. All right, I'll turn the fan down a little bit so you can hear me. It's blowing pretty good. Um, you have all your manuals and stuff in here. They look like they're freaking still in the wrapper. Um, another thing about military guys is sometimes they can be a little uh, anal about things. Anyway, all right, let me uh, get this thing out the out the door here so we can get some driving done here. I'm gonna do a reverse also here so you can see it reverse. All right, that's reverse. All right. All right, let's see. All right, if you come to Tucson to drive this vehicle home, you'll pay the following. You'll pay your state tax rate, whatever that is, plus our city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship this car out of state, all you're going to pay is agreed upon price, and that's it. No tax, no dock fee, nothing. Uh, once we receive your payment by wire, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. We will sign it off to you. We'll scan it in your online file, and we will mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope we mail it in, okay? Um, God, this thing runs as good as it looks, too, by the way. Um, very nice ride. Man, this is the lowest mile feeling miles ever for a 104,000 mile car I've ever been in. Amazing. That guy was very OCD. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you need, if you are going to pay by wire and ship, if you need help with shipping, um, let me know. We can roll the price of the shipping into the price of the vehicle, and uh, and I'll handle it for you. Uh, otherwise, you're welcome to do your own shipping. Um, like I said, once we uh, once we uh, get paid, we'll fill out everything and uh, we'll scan it in your online file and mail it to you. The title, the envelope will be scanned in everything. Deposits five hundred dollars. Once we have an agreed upon price, we have a deal. Until then, it will stay for sale. So please get your uh, your uh, deposit in. Last part of every video, I say the same thing, and I have a million times over the last twenty years. We don't have salesmen. We don't have bottled water with our name on it. We don't have a fancy location. You just saw where we left the yard. Um, we don't have the overhead that the new car dealerships have when they sell a vehicle on their used car property. They, they, they need to crush you when they sell them because they have to pay for all that crap. We don't. We leave a lot on the bone so that you can be happy and so that when something breaks, you can fix it with the money you saved. Um, if you're not good with that, do not buy anything from us because we are not writing you checks for anything at any time. We're two people. This is how we roll. We give you the money saved up front. Um, we hope that you understand how much money you're saving by buying with us. And when something breaks, although on this car, I mean, this is pretty much just my uh, my can, you know, speech. But man, this car is. I we don't have a rattle. It's an 04. We don't. Have, I haven't had a rattle yet. Uh, we're gonna get out on I-10 here in a second and see if I can find one. <laughs> something wrong. But uh, this is outstanding. But everything breaks. There's not a single car out here that's not going to break. And if it does, fix it. You saved a bunch of money. You got a great car. Oh, look at this. Oh, he, oh, he, he went sideways there. See that? <laughs> that was kind of exciting. That would have been cool if we direct. Um, anyway, uh, la, 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 la. So we're getting on to I-10. This is the Prince Road uh, on-ramp right here. So we'll get, uh, or off ramp, or I don't know what you call that. We're getting on I-10 from Prince Road, going towards Phoenix right now. And we'll just go to the next uh, next exit, which is Ruthroff, and you can see it drive on uh, on I-10. Uh, we try to give you as much of what uh, you will do with it normally as possible. And frankly, I drove uh, a Kia uh, Sorento to uh, Long Beach a couple, well, about a month and a half ago. And this car, I already think, is as good as that car, for sure. And that's a 2022. <laughs> it feels exactly the same as the 22 Sorento. Except the air blows a little bit colder in this one. A little bit. That's a nice car, too. But this is actually nicer, in my opinion. Anyway, uh, la, 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 la. So, bottom line is... It's your car on day one, fix it when it breaks. Um, if you keep it out of the back of a semi, uh, don't drive it into a lake, change the fluids, treat it like the guy who owned it 
previously, and this thing will go forever because this, frankly, hands-free, feels like a brand new car. This is exactly how a brand new car drives. So, you know, I mean, I try not to exaggerate too much, but my job is really to find fault with a vehicle so that when you get it, you, you're like, well, you're ready for that. Well, other than the little issues with the side bolsters on the seats, that's the issue. <laughs> I mean, which is really bizarre in an 04, but it's great. Obviously, it was very well maintained. Um, and uh, they, I like it when the evidence is there, like the Michelins. Michelins are expensive tires, and they are very high rubber. So sometime, very recently, they put brand new Michelins on it. Um, you know, a lot of people think that their trade-ins were more with new tires, which is not true. I never put new new tires on a vehicle uh, or detail it or spend a bunch of money on it before you trade it in. It doesn't matter, all right? Uh, just a little car car sense for you. Um, they are going to give you what they're going to give you, and they know what it looks like with tires and clean in their head. I do. Um, anyway, beautiful car. Uh, this video can only go 17 minutes and 38 seconds. That's the length of the uh, SD card in the GoPro. Um, so at 1738, I go away. Sometimes I make it all the way back to the yard. Sometimes I don't. Um, right now, I'm definitely not going to. That the two lights I've had to stop at have prevented me from having that chance. So when I go away at 1738, nothing happened other than we ran out of time. That's all. Anyway, uh, I'll say something at the end, like goodbye, <laughs> when I see 1738 coming up. So this road sucks. This is actually a bumpy road. Why would you buy brand new when you could buy this car for, gosh, a fifth of what you would pay for a brand new car? And then keep this thing in good shape and run it forever. This is a nice car. Really nice car. I'm impressed. I got one right. Anyway, we're coming up on 1738. We're at the light here. We're on uh, Ruthroff and Lachoya, spelled C-H-O-L-L-A. 